So morning all. And just a quick test ride we're out on this. It's an NT700. This is a Deville. And roads are incredibly icy this morning. I am on fresh rubber. I'm on a brand new set of BT023 Bridgestones. And just out to scuff these in slightly. I'm not going to get a lot of scuffing on any corners today with the amount of ice and cold weather. It's currently one degree. Uh, it's back break time for me. Go on then, Mr. Lorry. You're going to be an arsehole, aren't you? Come on. Only done 500 yards and the first numpty driver of the day just sticks his nose out. So this is a quick run round the block on this thing. Thank you. Just to run these tyres in, it's had a new set of fork seals on this as well, so we won this most of yesterday afternoon doing this. Now these little dervils, apart from the fact I can't get to any of the controls because these bar mitts are absolutely mullered. And it is idling a little bit high as well, but obviously it was only in for forks and tyres. So, pulls fine, but I hate bar mitts. I absolutely detest bar mitts. We might as well go and wear a pair of boxing gloves because you can't feel or see any of the controls on these. So I'm not a lover of bar mitts. Point done. But uh, these little dervils are great bite. There's loads and loads of storage space on these. But pulls through all the gears good. Absolutely lovely. You can tell from the wind noise. Oh, that wind chill is just cutting through my jacket. <laughs> I've got my normal black just uh, paddy jacket on this morning. Oh, should have put my bike jacket on. Oh, Jesus H, it is freezing. Or as Andy GSA Tractor would say to me, uh, nipple cripple, yes. Jesus. I'm taking it nice and steady. Nice steady 30 mile an hour around the town, just to get a bit of weave on the tyres. Get a bit of road dirt on them. Set them up, but bike's running fine. I am not going to try the damping on the front because I'm going to wash the front end out on this. And talking of washing, I might just uh, get my foamy to it uh, when I get back. This bike is mingingly filthy customer does do a lot of miles on it. I might give it a quick foam wash for him and give it a quick bit of ACF 50 because the bolts on the rear end were all frozen when we went to take them off yesterday. It took ages penetrating oil. I had to use my uh, little portable impact driver that I've got which is great if you've got torque set just for uh, getting stuck bolts use a little bit of impact on it gently gently just a little bit of da -da 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 -da, and it worked but oh trying to get to the indicator that bar mitt on is a pain in the backside so a couple more ride tests coming up i am not going out on new bikes until later but as always like I say, hit the like, hit the subscribe. Don't forget the live stream this Friday. It's going to be a big one. I have a lot of people coming in the room on Friday. So make sure that you are around for Friday night, 8pm, for the Friday night live. Which is bikes, beards and bollocks, as we say. It goes down the rabbit hole very, very quick once we've had a few drinks. And no doubt Simon GTR 1400 will be there, Andy GSA Tractor, all the boys, Lockwood, Zed Head, Military Biker, Ben and Gas Hauling Ass, all the people that uh, I follow. Where are we going? Come on. All the people I follow, as I say, are in my description down below, so check them all out. Give those guys a follow. Just click on a few of them or put their names up in the YouTube search. You will find their bikes. A couple more new ones added to the end of the list. But bike is running fine. It's not a bad company, you know, for comfort. This isn't a bad little bike, these little uh, NC700 Devilles. Or Derville, or Deville. 
It depends how you pronounce it. Same name, just pronounced differently. And it is a shaft drive bike as well, which is nice. So back to the garage, whatever you're doing guys, have yourself a good one. Be well. Ride safe. And from RB, it's a big goodbye from me.